Hello everyone, welcome to ICT 021. Today's topic is about area. Well, what is area? Let's take a look at this simple example. We can tell which figure is occupied a larger space straight away, so we introduce a unit area. It's a square with length of one unit. We call it a unit square. The next step is to find out how many unit squares these figures have respectively. One, two, three, four, five. It's clear that the left figure has five units of area. Now let's see how many unit squares the right X-shaped figure has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The square unit enables comparison. We can tell the area of the right figure is four square units larger than the left one. Now that we understand the concept of area, how is the area applied to the practical questions? Okay, we will run into figures that can be fully divided into unit squares. Then we need some smaller squares to fit. And when the square is evenly small, we are able to obtain an accurate answer. The common symbol of area is capital A. Deriving from the previous thought, we have formulas for calculating the area of different shapes to introduce. First is rectangle. The area is obtained by multiplying the lengths by the ways. And you can take the square as a special kind of rectangle that the length and width are the same. Therefore, the area of the square equals to a times a. Here is a parallelogram. There is a base length and height. To calculate the area of a parallelogram, we first transform it to a familiar shape by cutting a right angle triangle from the side and place it on the right to form a rectangle. There you go. The new rectangle has exactly the same area as the parallelogram, and the area of rectangle is readily available, which is the basis multiplied by the height. This formula is the important one for your following learning in the area. The next is trapezoid. We can see it has two parallel sides, with the height as a perpendicular to the parallel side. Let's turn it into something we know how to calculate, a parallelogram. Now the basis of the new parallelogram is the top line A plus base line B, and the height did not change. Because this parallelogram is formed by two original trapezoids, so the formula of trapezoid should be divided by two. Next up is triangle. It has a base line B and height. We do the same thing to the triangle, duplicating a triangle on the side. And because the new parallelogram is formed by two triangles that have the same base and height, we can just divide the formula by two. The formula is suitable for all kinds of triangles. It still works out when it's an obtuse triangle. Two identical triangles form a parallelogram. The next shape is circle. The radius of the circle is r, and the circumference is 2 pi r. We first cut it into several sectors that are infinitely small. And we arrange the sectors into parallelogram. We can see that the base of the new parallelogram is half of the circumference of the original circle, which is pi r, and the height of the parallelogram is the radius of the circle. Therefore, we use the height multiplied by the base, we use pi r times r, which equals to pi r squared. Remember the formula of the circle's area. Let's find the area of a sector. You may think a sector as a kick slide. The area of a sector is proportional to the central angle. 
So we first find out the central angle of the sector, and then find out how much of the area of the circle is occupied by this sector by dividing the central angle by 360 degrees. We use the total area of the circle times the proportion of sector, obtaining the area of the sector. Here is a summary of all shapes we learned so far. You may want to take a screenshot for review. Now let's have a practice. Let's calculate the area of this composite shape one by one. Here are the conditions given in the question. First, the triangle on the top. It has a 2 cm height, 4 cm base. So we substitute the value into the formula of the triangle. There you go. 4 times 2 and divided by 2 equals 4 cm squared. And the square size is 4 cm. 4 times 4 equals 16 cm squared. Now the two semicircles on the left and the right has a diameter of 4 cm, which means a radius of 2 cm. Two sectors that have the same radius and both have 180 degrees of central angle add up equals to a full circle. Therefore, we directly use the circle formula pi r squared equals to 4 pi cm squared. The trapezoid at the bottom has a 4 cm top line and 5 cm baseline and a 2 cm height. We substitute the three value into the formula. 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 times 2 and divided by 2 equals 9. Now we have the area of all the shapes. Then we add them up. A equals to 29 plus 4 pi. A equals to 41.56 cm squared. That's it for today's lesson. See you next time.